Yeah. Fantastic, love it. Great seeing the boys. I haven't seen each other and uh, me and Anne for probably eight, eight years or something like yeah, that. Seven, eight years. Yeah, but, so uh, it's nice, nice catching up with um, all the old, the old teammates. Just looking forward to tonight, really. First thing you did was abuse everybody. Same old. <laughs> uh, but it was good to see everyone. Like you said, the players were all. Uh, it was like a bit of a throwback into to what 2007. A bit of a throwback to 2007. So it was. Uh, it's good, and you know, people like Corey Harris, Matt Burke, you know, making the effort to get over. So. It's great. And what was your response when you got the call from the club about the event? What did you think about that and how quickly did it take you to say yes? <laughs> my, my my reaction was um, I booked myself in to get an operation on my Achilles. <laughs> yeah. I wish we were playing, uh, I've, seen the, I've seen the size of some of them as well, I wish we were playing Scotland Legends rather than... Uh, <laughs> Good to see uh, everyone here, and um, as you say, I think this is a kind of since January I've been here, and it's been flat out trying to trying to get all the boys together, and then uh, get everything else that we've done uh, tonight uh, all involved. And um, I can't take all the credit. Obviously, we've got a great community team, and that's what the whole point of the uh, the event was for for the community, raising money for the community foundation. And so um, it was good to see that Mel and uh, Gab, Emily. <laughs> Uh, yourself of care and the media everyone at the club has actually really helped out so um, this is an extra extra game added uh, to a very busy start of the season anyway so uh, yeah really really pleased with how it went and uh, it looks like all the boys enjoyed themselves as well. Okay Rob so after a game like this we'd like to have a chat with our director of rugby so sort the game for us. <laughs> um, uh, very competitive uh, very skillful um, uh, I think 
possibly just the, the better side one. Um, so the Southern Hemisphere boys just looked a little bit a little bit sharper, and there's some big hits out there. And I thought both teams did really well. It was uh, I was quite happy. I was stood on the sideline to be honest, just watching. It was pretty full of blood and, uh, and very fast paced as well, wasn't it? Well, these things always get fast paced. You know, the guys are very competitive animals. They're playing on a very quick pitch. And the, the, the intensity just goes up and up and up. As, as one person puts in a big hit, somebody else wants to put in another one. The players then think, oh, well, I'll, keep, I'll play like I used to play 10 years ago. And then you find that half of them on the sideline with pulled hamstrings, yeah. torn calves, bust this, broke, you know. And it, it's just the way of, of, of the competitive nature of these games. But it was very entertaining. And a good way to start a, a massive week for the sport in the, in the city. Yeah, I mean, a, a great weekend. For, you know, here with some of the guys coming back, and you know, for all of us to come back, and meet up with guys that have travelled from around the world. Matt Burke, Marius Herter, you know, name but two, have travelled a very long way. Corey Harris has come from New Zealand as well. Um, so great for the for the lads to meet up, have a few beers tonight, enjoy enjoy the, each other's company. Obviously, a big day in Newcastle tomorrow for for St James's Park and Scotland against South Africa. And a great reception for everybody as well after the game. Supporters flooding on there, and it, it took a while for everybody to clear. And uh, the, the lads have had a, had, a, had a good chance to reminisce with those with those people as well. Yeah, well, a lot of us players you know, spent a long time here, and a lot of the supporters were around when the club was was getting going. And 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 it's nice for the players to meet up again, and nice to just be back part of something that that you know was a massive part of of all of our lives. And you know to see. Tom May and Jamie Noon running around there. It's just like it, it looked like 15 years ago. You know, still Nooney playing like it was the last game he'd ever play. Matt Burke skillful at the back. Gary Armstrong in his 50s playing like you know he's in his mid 20s. Um, you know, Doddy and Gareth Archer. You know, just just great to, to see it. And you yourself didn't take to the field. If we ever do this again, might we get you to, to pull on the boots? <laughs> Um, I think uh, when the, the more you watch that, the more you realise why I stood on the side, <laughs> to be honest. Um, maybe could have gone on and taken the odd kick uh, to try and match Peter, who obviously did really well, Peter Beardsley. Um, but no, th these games are very competitive. My, my body, I'm not sure it would stand up to some of those hits from some of the, uh, some of the southern, southern hemisphere. It's brilliant. You know, right? I think when you get everyone back like that, you, you get that same bond, you, you, all, you all get competitive again. And to have a run out at, it, at what is now a you know, fantastic surface, a fantastic stadium, it's a, it's a real privilege really to pull a shirt back on again like that. And um, you know, it's been really enjoyable. Hopefully it's something we can do, do once more and, and maybe look to, to put on again. And you announced your retirement earlier in the year when you were here with London Walsh. How nice is it to, to have another run out as a Falcon? Yeah, brilliant. You know, like, I, I spent a lot of happy times here, a lot of good times. Um, Ten years is a long time to play for one club, and you know I'm really, really happy to be able to come back and do do something again. So, um, you know, my mum and dad came up for it today because you know it is special to come out and, and, and play again for a club that, that means so much. So, um, I didn't, didn't necessarily think it was going to be that, that would happen, but you know, fantastic opportunity. I thoroughly enjoy it. It was a great just to be part of it and be part of it, playing with players I used to play with and guys I used to coach. It was fantastic. It was a. I don't think I did an awful lot on the pitch, but I. I've come through and hopefully I'll be able to walk tomorrow and that's the main thing. Well, I think from a, from a player's point of view, I think it's just been a, it's been a fantastic event. It's, um, it's been really, really nice to be welcomed back into uh, in a rugby club. Um, you know, it just shows the, how deep rooted this, this club is, um, that it still remembers and it, um, um, you know, it's, it's still that kind of looks after its old players and I think from, from all the players speaking, I, I say a big thank you to the club for, for putting this event on because um, we've, we've really enjoyed it and it's been a, been a special night tonight. And the years were rolled back there for that sprint in for that try in the corner. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I think uh, it's only fair. I'm, I'm one of the youngest out here tonight, so I uh, really enjoyed that as a, as a little bit of a moment. And uh, But I, th I think there'll be a few sore bodies um, tomorrow, but I think it's all been, uh, been well worth it. Um, I think we've hopefully raised a lot of money for the uh, foundation and for Wooden Spoon, and uh, you know that's been in the back of everyone's minds uh, for putting this on. But um, but then again, it's also been about kind of uh, building everything for the World Cup and um, and just getting excited about rugby. And uh, I think it's achieved on all those levels. It's been fantastic.